It's Do It Yourself Thursday, so we are stone carving with Tim DeChristopher. He's a sculptor, and he's here to tell us a little bit about what he does. Thank you for coming today. You're welcome. Today. Thank you. So you take a big piece of... What, now, what, what is this piece of stone? This is limestone, Indiana limestone. So you take a big hunk of limestone, and you turn it in to some of these incredible creations over here. Yes. So we're going to do a little demonstration, <laughs> because I don't visualize how this can get here, but you have glasses on. Safety yes. first for me. It's very important. Don't want anyone losing an eye today, Tim. Nope. So where do we start when you get a big block like this? The first thing I'll do is actually draw, draw my concept onto the block. I work in what's called the direct method, which um, is just that. I work pretty much directly on the material without a preliminary model and often without preliminary drawings. So this is my, my drawing on the stone is usually my first sort of reference point. So if people are getting an up-close look at this, I can't make out what it's going to be. Describe what your end goal is for this piece of limestone. All right, so what I'm going to do on this block is um, create a building on, on, in this area, which is going to look like a, a mill building, a factory building. Mm -hmm. um, on this side, we're going to make a tower, like a, a tall water tower, um, with uh, some kind of a uh, pipe connection uh, going to the, to the water tower. Mm -hmm. um, and that's going to be basically it. It's going to look uh, very much like mills you'll see here in Chicopee. Well, let's get to it. There's, there's so many good tools here. I have one right now that looks a little terrifying. <laughs> so how that, do we get started breaking this down? So the first thing uh, you do is there, there's, there are lots of tools to work with, um, but there are three basic types of chisels. There's, mm -hmm. there's what's called a point, a claw, which is which is a tool with essentially lots of points on it. It's like a fork. Mm -hmm. And from there you work, you go to the flat, which is your finishing tool. So this is your roughing out tool. The point is your roughing out. Uh, the, the claw is a finer roughing out. And then the flat is a finishing tool. <laughs> so why the ax? That is a real roughing out tool. <laughs> that is for the big, the big yeah. pieces. I just so brought that started. for reference. How do we make our first markings on this? Um, well, the first marks, you, know, you make I'm, with I make with the pencil. Then I, I, you have to keep in mind that you're working three dimensionally, and whatever you end up drawing on the surface is going to get erased almost immediately anyway. So That's true. you have to you have to be able to conceive uh, dimensionally. Um, now, can I follow along with you? I know yeah. that I'm very ill-equipped. Actually, here, but take take that. Thank you. That's the claw. Um, <laughs> and go ahead. Yeah, just just where? Because I don't want to. That's fine. What we can do, I'll have you start. It might be better if you come over on this side to, to work. So you're really just using your muscle and getting in there. Oh, yeah. All right. I think so, I can do this. Yeah. Now, obviously, and feel free to follow along with me. This isn't something that people can just pick up and do at home. But people can take classes and hopefully one day so make something that looks as good as what you're doing. And you're left-handed. I am. Yeah, I probably should have disclosed <laughs> that to you earlier. It's okay, though. I'm, uh, I'm trying to become ambidextrous. But this is something, it's obviously, you can't do it at home, but it's a learned skill, and you can take courses in it, and it seems like a really fun, also a stress-relieving hobby. Yes, I, I do teach classes through Greenfield Community College. Oh. Um. So, you know what? If you want to keep working on this throughout the show, maybe we can check back. And obviously, I would assume something like this takes hours and weeks and months. So. It does. Well, Tim, I want to thank you so much for stopping by today. I might just keep working on this, though, because it's getting some stress out, and it's working yeah. my creative muscle. <laughs> and now from carving to comedy, I'm going to toss it over to Alora. She is with our next guest. Hey, Alora.